All right, guys, so I had one issue after uh, changing up the hot water uh, anode. anode. Basically, I turned on all the, after you got it all done, you go around, turn on, your, on all your hot water. You're going to have air in the line, so it's going to sputter and spit. Just let it do its thing until you have normal flow and stuff like uh, just normal water pressure, normal flow and everything's good to go. That being said, uh, since the hot water tank is directly under this bathroom in, uh, in the basement, and I've also read online, um, I didn't find a really good answer online, but uh, basically a lot of people have had this issue and sometimes their hot water tank is directly under the kitchen and they don't have any water pressure in the kitchen. So basically what I understand is if your hot water is directly under any type of uh, sink or water water source and you have no pressure, just kind of dribbles out, that means it's probably the shortest run. Okay, so we know that. So what that probably also means is that since it's the shortest run, um, any debris uh, that may have been left in the thing that got stirred up once you turned on the cold water to the hot water, maybe that got sucked up into uh, the pipes and plumbing and maybe blocked off something. So, what I've done so far, and we'll double check with the cold water, because this not only, even though we changed off, we turned off the cold water and basically worked on the hot water side of things, in this bathroom, it wasn't just the hot water, it was the cold water, it had no pressure. So it kind of made me scratch my head and kind of figure out what is going on. It doesn't make any sense. So, what I did so far, and we're going to check with the cold water right now, just to make sure, hopefully, I should have got this on video before, but I had no pressure, it was just like dribbling out. So I just did the hot water, we're not going to turn the hot water on, because we want to see if it's still the same with uh, the cold water. So basically what I did was turn off the, the hot water and cold water supply under my sink, right here. Then I went up under here, disconnected that water line to make sure that there was no blockages. Keep the water line up, have a pail, in this case I'm using a pot, keep the water line vertical and then get it into the bucket, drain the little bit of water that's in the line here. Then you slowly turn on your hot water and this will, don't turn it on full blast because you'll get sprayed in the face, trust me. Um, turn on a little bit and as you see water flow in more consistent then slowly turn it up, and it will sputter a little bit. Turn it slowly up, and uh, then we <coughs> that air is going to get out of the line. One, air is going to get out of the line. And two, any little bit of debris and stuff, which I did have a little bit in, in, the, in the pot, that will get out. Now, what I'm going to do is turn the cold water on, because I haven't done that yet. And I will show you the process if it's still the same problem on the cold water side. Now, if it's not, then, we, then we're going to turn on the hot water and see if it's cleared out. If we still have a problem at this point, after we clean out both the hot water and the cold water side, then we know that there's maybe a blockage somewhere uh, in, in, in this part. So we'll probably undo this and just double check things. But let's turn on the cold water line. Cold water line's on. Oh, seems like we flushed out what we needed. So now we got some water. I may have just solved the problem. Unfortunately, I didn't get it on camera. We'll turn the hot water on. I felt that pressurized there. Make sure obviously there's no leaks. See, we have little pressure right now. So, I mean, this is a lot, 10 times better than what it was because it was kind of dribbling before. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn this off again. I'm going to turn cold water off. The other way. I'm going to do the same thing to the cold water, and that might fix things. I hope. I know the video is probably not in the best position or whatever, but basically 
You're going to slowly turn the water, cold water on. Okay, we got some nasty. As you can see, it's running pretty good. So I say we got some pretty good water pressure there. Turn it off. Now what we're gonna do is what we're gonna do is just hook this back up. Sorry for the poor lighting. Just like that. Just put you guys over there for now. Tighten it up. This will solve our problem. I don't think we're quite there for water pressure yet. Pretty good. And nothing for the hot water. Oh, maybe I have the hot water turned off. Yeah, I do. is not great right now so we'll probably have to just take a look inside and uh, see, see if there's anything blocking maybe we got some blockage right here uh, we'll pop that off and see what's going on because that's the only other spot that I can see that might have an issue um, I'm gonna investigate myself and get back to you right here shortly hopefully so I just took this off and this is what this is what's going on. So that is some sediment that came from the bottom of the hot water tank and it got pushed up through the lines. And I believe, based on what I'm seeing right here, that is my issue for the low pressure. See, now we got some good flow. So hot water and cold water and that is the reason cause of why you might have low pressure um, after you change out your hot water tank or your uh, diodes or anything. So any debris that was stuck in the lines or whatever just got shot to probably, most likely, the closest sink or water line to, uh, uh, to from your tank. It's gonna be the, sh the shortest run. It's gonna blow all that stuff right up in there because um, it's the closest one. The other ones probably won't be affected as much or at all. Um, and I haven't noticed any other pressure differences in any of the other um, sinks and stuff, maybe slight. And there might be just a little bit so I could just go around and just double check them all. But uh, that was too easy. So hopefully, if you're having this issue guys, hopefully this helps. And uh, thank you for watching. And don't forget, never stop learning.